This will be a very rare video, not like the other ones where I've gathered all the information we've got in the last two months or so, and now that we've actually seen the builder and telling you guys what I'll probably be making on the first day, first week of 2K24 once I get my hands on it in a few days. So drop a like if this is something you guys are interested in because I'm switching it up today. And as you guys know, I was not at community day, all right? So I can't show you actual builds, but I've got plenty of information to go off of, all right? So look, first I wanna shout out PrizePix for sponsoring today's video. Prize picks is where you put your sports IQ to the test and can win up to 25 times your cash. It's easy. Just pick whatever sport you prefer and category, then make your picks. For the start of the NFL season, Prize picks is giving a special where Dak only has to pass for one yard to win. I'm picking that one. Then just choose if the players will do more or less than projected. The more you get right, the more cash you bring home. And if you click my link in the description to sign up for Prize Picks today and use code BadgePlug, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yes, double the first deposit. So thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring this video. If you're only making one build throughout all of 2K24, because I know times are tough and money is scarce, you know what I'm saying? I would not make a build in the first week, all right, or first few days, all right? I would be watching people's build videos but do not make the build yet due to the fact that 2k labs every year figures out like oh this badge matters more than this badge for example corner specialist didn't really matter this year okay guys so that's something where you could look at just for an example you know what i'm saying there's plenty of other things and go oh i don't need this many shooting badges because now i'm not going to use corner specialist so i don't need as many badge points i can put the rest of these points on something else of my build okay you see what i'm saying so be very careful y'all know that are subscribed of course if you're new i'm trying to get that 1 million by the end of the year so of course hit that subscribe button that every year i make very safe first builds because it's not just me i'm making it for it's y'all as well that want what i'm using okay so let's start with 2k20 because the furthest i can remember back to is that game so my first bit on that game is i made a slashing playmaker now as y'all know one of the best builds ended up, ended up being the two-way slashing playmaker with a little less shooting but better defense and i actually used that build the entire year so that was a build that was great throughout the whole year and i made it literally day one day two whatever okay in 2K21, it was very obvious, okay? I made a playmaking sharp, sharpshooter. Sadly, in that game, it was too obvious what the best build was gonna be. So playmaking sharp, you know, had to use that through the whole year because it, that was just the build, you know what I'm saying? But I, of course, I made other builds. You guys know what I'm saying though. That's a very safe build that I gave you guys. In 2K22, I made a six foot five max wingspan playmaking shot creator that I also used around the entire year. Now, that build was amazing the 6-5 play shot people were doubting it at first it was max wingspan bro and it was still able to shoot and dribble it was really nice i loved that build okay so in 2k23 i gave you all a really good six foot three with gold post riser it could shoot it had the elite dribbles but where i would say i went wrong was I did high strength instead of a bit more defense, although it still had a 86 perimeter defense, you still could have got like more steel, you know, something like that. So as we all know, strength does matter in 2K23, but it doesn't matter as much. Like on a smaller build, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely take down that strength and upgrade more things. That's gonna be more important, okay? But it did have gold bully. And if you use bully correctly, it can be to your benefit. But you know, in my opinion, I would have took down the strength and got a little bit more defense, maybe a little more shooting, something like that, okay? So still a very safe build and my friend actually uses that build to this day all right so y'all see i don't really try to go in and make something that is you know a shot in the dark a needle in the haystack like just really kind of trying to make this super rare build that's gonna maybe shine no i make very safe builds and usually no matter what you're gonna be able to make that your use that build throughout the entire year and obviously you know i'm making the build for you guys but also don't want to mess up my first build either because you know i want to grind and go out there and play park and things like that so i gather all this info about the game and use that to my advantage the last two years i've got the game a few days early so even without servers being on i've been able to test some dribble moves and stuff in advance but who knows if i'll get the game early this year okay guys so i'm serious i do not have the game early yet all right last year i got it like three days early so i mean who knows with labor day coming up that's kind of really selling us because a lot of stores don't even have the game yet so i don't know yet anyway the first few builds i'll be looking at making yes the first few okay i'm gonna make because not everyone plays guard and i also don't just play guard as y'all know i had everything in 2k23 i had you know tall guard short guards lockdown center popper doesn't matter okay the first one I'm going to make is probably a Curry type of build with little defense. This is a build you'll probably want to play with a team on in 3v3 or 5v5. Now, I'll be explaining this for every build, whether I think you guys should use a team, things like that. 
I probably wouldn't use this for twos because it's going to be low defense and short. Now, I know that's not everyone's go-to, but my thought process on these is if I give up 20, I put up 40. You guys, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? If you've watched my rec videos, you know, as all y'all know, when I make these super high offense builds, the insane offense I'm able to display is almost always outweighs me getting scored on a few times more. Keep in mind, we don't know if strength will actually be super important. So I think this is a less risky build because a curry type of build doesn't need strength. So you won't be going back in a month or two looking at what you could have done if you didn't have strength upgraded, right? So like on that six foot three, that I made early 2K23, you know, we're looking back at it now and going, okay, this, we definitely could have made this a little bit better if we didn't upgrade strength, right? So this is a build where you're not gonna be like, ah, man, I could have got this if I didn't do strength because we're not putting strength on a curry build anyway. And I think specialty builds like a very high three curry will have a huge spot in the game, especially for people good enough on offense to counteract the defense. Now, I'm thinking of making two variations right now. Obviously, Curry, 99 three-pointer, that's probably the one I'm going to make. But I do believe if you don't want to be just right there on the absolute realistic Curry, 97.3 might be a little better in like 96, 95, and then you'll be able to get a few more things. So I'll show you guys that one as well. But man, 99.3 might be actually insane. Okay, anyway, the next one I'm looking at is a 6.4 to 6.6, maybe 6.7 around their type of building. Yes, guys, I did write this down for you guys so that I can literally give you my exact thought process. I sat down, thought about this. So, man, if you guys are enjoying this, drop a like because I'm just giving you all the information from what we've got from the builder, from everything that I've been doing and giving it to you guys in one video. Anyway, 6.4, 6.6, around 6, their type of build that will be a two-way slashing playmaker type of build. This time, unlike 2K20, a little bit lower three-pointer that can finish and play defense. So basically the two-way slashing playmaker from 2K20, except for this time, I'm going to start off with the lower offense and, you know, better defense. This build, depending on height, can probably play anywhere. I'll most likely be putting strength on this one. So this is where I say be cautious on making it because once again, I don't know what y'all, uh, what, you know, to think about strength 100% being worth it on a build like this. But from everything we've heard, it's not really the attribute. It's the badges that strength will make a key factor on taller builds. So I think this will be a build that you can make day one and use all year long. Play with, you know, any type of teams, twos, threes, rec, whatever. As long as shooting with a lower three than we're used to on 2K23, guards is, you know, how they say it is okay so basically what i'm trying to say right there is as long as what we've heard you're able to shoot with a lower three then it should be fine okay because on 2k23 i mean nobody really makes a low three-point guard because it's just so cheap you know what i'm saying but this year you're gonna have to sacrifice somewhere and it looks like you're still able to hit with a lower three so you know what i'm saying anyway the next one is another high offense low defense ja morant type build I had one very similar to him in 2K23 that y'all loved, except the builder was so crazy. I also had like a 92.3. So going back to, you know, kind of what I was saying about the two-way slashing playmaker this year. And although we really already know that's possible in 2K24, you know, you're able to still kind of do that, just not as crazy. I'm probably not going that high so I can max the acceleration. So, you know, I'm going to sacrifice maybe, you know, 10 three-pointer to get like four or five more acceleration and just be an absolute speed demon, okay? Because... If you can shoot with a low three, I don't need that 93. You know what I'm saying? You know, now, of course, I'll show you guys two different variations, probably one that has a high three and one that doesn't, a little bit lower acceleration uh, if you're going to go higher three. But high dunk, decently high three, good ball handle, and like 95 acceleration is what I'm looking at. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory again, and it's also another build that you wouldn't have put strength on anyway. So I think that it will be safe as long as, of course, you play with a team because you will need to be hidden on defense. Now, neither this build or the Curry has to be made to play with a team y'all know i made my rec videos this year i went in with two of my friends almost each time so every time we went in we had two randoms and we still made it work due to the offense producing much more than i was getting mismatched on defense okay so yes you're going to give up some more points like i said i'm giving up 20 let's say i give up 20 right that's just an example but i'm giving up 20 i'm putting up 40 all right so at the end of the game i'm still you know outweighing the bad defense okay and I went in with a lockdown and a center. So, you know, as soon as someone drives in past the three-point line, I usually just rotate to the next guy on the three-point line, let the center do what he has to do in the paint. Okay, so now I'm done with guards. But the next build I'm thinking of is a pure lock, kind of like what I did in 2K23. As y'all know that I've been here, of course, if you're not, make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. I'm trying to hit a million subscribers. I went 99 dunk, 97 perimeter D, which was Hall of Fame clamps. 
and kind of low steel which at first was tough because as you guys know steels were so good in 2k23 in the beginning but after the patch the build kind of got really really good you know what i'm saying it kind of was like dang that's a really good build because you don't really need steel i mean you don't you it's nice you know it's definitely nice but that 99 dunk is also crazy too i haven't used it a few weeks ago and showed y'all gameplay of it in a news video recently and was still winning just fine so my september lockdown build was still really good however this time i'm probably going more of a sweaty stage pro-am pure lock type of build with around a 75 three-pointer absolutely no ball handle and speed with ball just enough pass accuracy and 99 steel 99 perimeter defense now as we've seen if you guys have been watching around a lot of people have been making these pure locks with no block due to how hard it is to get a bunch of great stats so once you get that 99 steel 99 block man you don't have a lot left over i myself might do that because i'll be playing usually threes or fives with this so when the guard gets in the paint i'll be expecting a center to drop and contest if needed so basically like i was just saying even with uh even with a pure lockdown once again like i was saying with the no defense build once someone drives kind of into the paint this one i'm obviously going to follow them a little bit more but once they get to like the free throw line you know i'm kind of expecting a center to be there but if they're not you know what i'm saying who knows i think that with that high of a defense and how they talk about defense being so much better then it'll be hard for them to even get to the paint in the first place so it's 50 50 if i'll get block or not but i'll make two for y'all in case you also need block and you're not playing with a team so if i go with block it'll probably have to we'll probably have to have like a really low dunk or something and think about a pure lockdown i mean how many times are you going to go in there and need those dunks right maybe you would probably rather have the block because that's what your build does in the first place so who knows and it also depends on the three-pointer how expensive three-pointer is how eight how you're able to knock down let's say maybe even a 73 pointer is still very viable for someone that's good i'm probably gonna go 73 pointer and then get you know more block go even lower dunk because if i'm in the paint anyway with a lock i'm probably gonna you know wiggle my way around go up straight away or make them jump you know take a little layup whatever it is so we'll see about that okay okay but pure lock is definitely something i'm gonna make because you guys know i won a ten thousand dollar 2k league tournament last year during the biggest left right 2k game of all time i love lockdown lockdown is actually my main position in competitive in my opinion i like playing shooting guard point guard but uh it's either shooting guard or pure lock for me in super competitive like pro-am all that type of stuff um guard is just too stressful i can do it but it's just so stressful oh my god dude it's so stressful in a 5v5 versus actual sweats okay like the really top one percent of 2k pure lockdowns and stuff now down to power forward y'all know my kevin rant bill is one of my favorites in 2k23 and i'll definitely be making another one of those so Many people told me that that you know they made this build and they loved it. So expect to see that in 2K24. My Kevin Durant build is amazing, but I'm also thinking of making a Giannis type gold or Hall of Fame bulldozer pure slasher. Now, at the moment, I can't decide if I want to go more all around and also be able to shoot or just be an absolute menace in the paint. But I think neither of these builds will have high ball handle at all, due to one of them being tall one them being tall and two i'm just running to the rim so why would we need crazy moves i don't think either of these builds will require needing uh to play with a team to play with and can almost all play anywhere however you know if i make a pure slasher that doesn't have a high three i wouldn't suggest taking it to the wreck because you might get up you know you might upset your teammates if they keep hitting you open and you can't shoot but if you're dunk demon they probably won't care both of these would be very safe to make for the entire year now i also didn't put this on here but uh pure slash is probably gonna have good defense as well so you know high strength good defense slashing but you're not gonna have shooting or playmaking so that's what we're looking for on 2k24 now as you guys know uncle demi made a different type of pure slasher that i've been watching he made a pure slasher that's going to be a primary ball handler i don't see myself doing that i see you know matching up with let's say let's say we're playing twos right a two-way slashing playmaker or you know a curry type of build and i'm kind of even playing lockdown due to the fact that i'm still going to have high defense or decently high defense and high strength and then playing you know on threes with that guard build then my build and let's say an inside or popper you know fives might bring it out if it doesn't have shooting but if it does have shooting it's still gonna be very good due to the high defense and slashing so you guys see what i'm saying okay so i think those will be safe as well lots of these are safe i mean i'm giving you guys some safe ones and i'm also giving you some safe ones that are like eh, you know it depends on if you have a team or not sometimes things like that 
As for centers, if I make one, I'm definitely making one that will be dominating and rebounding, scoring inside and all that good stuff at first, because that's super safe. Obviously, it's so, it's so easy to make it inside, and I'm sure it'll be good for leveling up if I'm grinding for legends. So most likely, we don't know yet, and you know, an inside is gonna be great for centers for grinding for legend. Probably better than a popper, right? Because you're getting more rebounds, more blocks, more inside scoring, you know, alley oops, things like that. Basically a Shaq Dikembe type of build, which from that we've seen in my opinion, making an inside would be super easy on 2K24. Very easy to make, extremely easy to make a center on 2K23 in my opinion. On 2K24, it's probably gonna be around the same, obviously a little harder due to the fact that you're gonna have to kind of specialize in about two things. But this will be another build where you can use a team with or without in almost any court, but maybe not twos, because it might be a little slow in pick and roll, but I might go lower height, like right at seven foot to counter that. So. At the moment, I'm thinking like 7-2, 7-3, absolute demon, you know, because I just want to be a bully down there, get my level, move on. But at the same time, I don't want to be too slow in pick and roll and stuff when I go out there to the park. You know, twos, threes, maybe even wreck, don't want to be too slow. So I might go a little bit uh, lower height and get a little bit more speed, you know what I'm saying? So that speed is huge, and I don't want to be too slow on the pick and roll. I don't want them to get... In the dead zone, I don't know if there's going to be a dead zone on 2K24. If you guys don't know what a dead zone is, basically they call that, that's what they call it in Pro-Am and stuff. It's basically when the center is too far deep into the paint, and at that point, it's like almost nothing you can do. You know, they're going to make the layup no matter what. You jump perfect time, doesn't matter. Things like that, okay? So, you know, don't want to get dead zone too often, but I also want to be an absolute bully, a menace down there in the paint. So, guys, I wrote all this down for you all. Threw in some extra things, man. If you enjoyed that, that's my thought process so far on 2K24. Of course, I'm gonna be making even more builds than that. I uh, might be making like a Kobe post score, MJ post score, uh, LeBron type of build. You know, I, I make a lot of builds, as you guys know. But of course, when I go into team modes and stuff like that, I preach winning. Winning is all that matters. Whatever's next after that, even if I'm playing bad, I'll take a back seat pass to the open man when you, you know you're able to hit the open man obviously you're gonna miss the open man a few times but yes pass to the open man things like that but yeah man i plan to have fun make some cool content as well but i'm not going to drop any builds that i don't think you guys are not going to be able to use all year some of them like i said will be a little bit more risky but most of them won't be risky and i think you'll be able to use all year round of course like i said with 2k labs uh we're gonna go in in you know march and be like okay you didn't need to go that high on this because this badge you actually could have had on silver instead of gold and that's going to give you just a three percent advantage from going from silver to gold so i'm actually not going to upgrade let's say three pointer that high because i'm i can actually put that in another area that's going to help better so there's going to be little things like that of course but i i really feel like i almost never give people bad september builds sometimes they're not as good but as you guys know that have been watching for a while i think these september builds are pretty damn good and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to click this video right here. It's very important you guys might be really behind on 2K24 news because this is the most news we've ever had on the game before it came out. So I would suggest watching a few videos, especially this one right here. Click this one, bro, if you haven't yet, and I'm out. Peace.